Today we're going to talk about toe behind air compressor I just bought. So let's get started. Hello, welcome back to my green lawn. I purchased a toe behind air compressor. I had no intention of doing such a thing, but I happened to see it, stopped it, and bought it. It's an older one. It's older than I thought it was. Uh, it's in kind of a rough condition. It's late in the season. So if I'm going to use it for any sprinkler blowouts, I need to get what I want to do to it done fast. The wife wanted us to clean it up some so it looked more presentable. I know that the fiberglass top had some cracks in it. So I kind of quickly fixed those with some body putty. Put some spot putty on all the little other cracks that were in the fiberglass. Nothing major it, this is all done super fast put on the bondo sanded it down put some spot putty on there sanded it down there was no perfection at all on this i just needed to get it done so it was more presentable i think i purchased it um very the very end of september and then the decision was since we're going to paint it let's see if we can sandblast the frame you can see how rusted I don't have any a lot of video of it early on because I didn't think about making a video and I was busy trying to get this stuff done. But I do have pictures, so I'll put the pictures up. The frame is pretty rusty, so I wanted to have this, the frame sandblasted so we could paint it. So I, I called a couple of places and um, this guy called me back, but they were busy. They needed it about a week. I said, that's too long. I, you can't have it a week. I need it for fall sprinkler blowouts. And he said, well, you know what, bring it to me now and I can, I'll can i squeeze you in. So I brought it up there, which is way out of my way. And they had it for over seven days. And I, I called asking about it and they hadn't done it yet. And I was really irritated. I said, just let them know that I was upset that um, I sat up there for a week and a half and I could have been working on the motor because there's other things I need to go through it. I don't know anything about this machine. I literally picked it up and pretty much within a few days, it was up at the sandblasting place. I know nothing about this machine. So he said, well, I don't know what else to tell you. I can maybe work after hours. Hang on a second, let me call you back. So we hung up the phone. He called me back. He said, don't come and get it tonight because I was gonna come get it that night. I'm gonna stay after work tonight, get it done. You can pick it up tomorrow. I said, that's great, thank you so much. So he did that. I went up the next day and got it, brought it home. I primered it right away, as you can see here. I threw some primer on it because I didn't want the bare metal to start rusting right away since I just had it sandblasted. And then the decision was colors. What are we gonna do for colors? So we're thinking lawn medic colors, right? We got green, we got kind of John Deere stuff, right? We got, we got the green, we got the yellow, there's some white, there's some red. Okay, we're going to do it green and yellow. Spray painted it real quick. I think it took like five hours. It was really windy that day, I sh and I was, we were outside spraying it. Half the paint that I was spraying on the, on the compressor was going in the air and all over my skin and my body and my hair. I actually had yellow green hair that, that day. We got it painted, and then I have a vinyl cutter. Cut the vinyl for it to put on there. I did have some stickers printed up. We put all the stickers on the following day. I think it looks pretty good. What I said at that point was, wow, we have a lipstick on a pig, right? Because it looks pretty good, but it don't run worth beep. And I don't know anything about the machine. So if anybody knows anything about compressors, go ahead and comment down below. It's a 1979. Now I don't know if that's the year of the entire machine, but I knew it was old. I figured late 80s, early 90s. But what powers it is a Ford 371 eight cylinder. So four cylinders run the engine. The other four cylinders run the compressor. I don't know, I've never had a compressor before. Interesting. The company I bought it from didn't really know anything about it. I know absolutely nothing about compressors. So I started it. And then once you start it, let it run for a few minutes because it's cold blooded. You flip this valve to run. Well, when you do that, the compressor kicks on and then what happens is it dies. So I started doing it slowly. And you can hear that the motor revs up and then it gets to a certain point and it dies. Just kind of playing with it a little bit. I kind of pulled the choke out 
And as I was turning the run button, the, this valve to run, and I found a happy medium between pulling the choke out and turning this valve, it sits and runs, seems to work okay. It's not perfect. I have some oil leaks on the inside. I'm gonna have to take care of the oil leaks next year if I decide to keep this thing. There's other work that needs to be done to it, but if I can get rid of the oil leaks, I think it'd be an all right machine. And if I can find somebody that knows something about compressors, or maybe it's just the motor that's not right. Maybe once the motor gets fixed or tuned up, then the whole thing would be good. I, I, I don't know. Um, again, if you know anything about compressors, go ahead and comment down below. It's a Grimmer Schmidt compressor. It's a 175. I'm able to do sprinklers. I was able to do my sprinkler. I did my neighbor's sprinkler. I did, I did a couple of my customer sprinklers already. I, I bought a um, regulator valve to put on the end of it. I've always blown mine out with my home compressor, but I've never really had a tow behind compressor before. So it's quite interesting. Just thought I would share that with you, show you the compressor. I really kind of like it. Um, if you have any questions or comments about the compressor, please go ahead and comment down below. I do read all the comments, and I would really love to hear from any of you that know anything about blowing out sprinklers with a tow behind compressor what the process is, or if, if am I doing something wrong in this compressor, and that's just, or if that's just the way it is, maybe it's just an old machine, maybe it's just tired and worn out, like me. So, hey, thanks again for joining us here in My Green Lawn. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the pictures of the compressor from the time I got it to what it looks like right now, newly painted with some nice graphics on it. I will call that my lipstick on a pig compressor. Yeah. Go ahead and give us a like down below. Go ahead and give us a subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to the channel. And with that, I will see you in the green. Just have yourself a great day. Keep mowing and keep blowing. Talk to you later. Take care.